y'all, what's going on here? <clears throat> Got me a guitar backing track in the key of G. I just finished some paperwork and I'm out here spending my 30 minutes to an hour a day just playing bits and pieces of pentatonic scales, major scales, things like that, just to practice and get my stuff back going on here. So backing track in the key of G, I'm actually down tuned about a half step, so I'll just bump everything up one fret and I'll be in the right key. So this is in the key of G, we've got a G7, an FCG and an A minor chord all up in this dude. Yeah, so key of G, circle of fifths, if you need to know where you're at there. So anyway, I'm just running little bits and pieces of stuff such as this right here. Anyway, all right, y'all, done with the guitar stuff. So what I want to talk to you guys today about is compass variation. So inevitably, all compasses are not created equal, and there is some deviation or discrepancy between how they'll read. So what I've got right here, let's just go down the line right here. Let me turn this phone. Silva Ranger 2, United States Army or Military, Kaminga, a Sunto mc no i'm sorry yeah mc2 and uh, this is not the usgs this is one of the metric on it but a sunto mc2 and next we have a sunto sunto button compass that i wear on my watch quite often so let's start right here we look we read it at the top we're showing 260 degrees on this kaminga about 259 on the sunto 257, 258. On this button compass, we're showing right there about 255. Guys, so we've got it on the low end from 255 and on the high end up to about 260 degrees, all zeroed out. Declination is not a factor with these compasses. They're all zeroed out on these, uh, the Silva and the Sunto, they're on zero. So I haven't adjusted anything there. But we've got a five degree window right there. <clears throat> so the Sunto button compass that I put on my watch band They'll tell you straight out of the gate that it could be a, a, a three, I think it's three to five, but maybe it's just three they claim. I'd have to go read that again, but they'll tell you straight out of the gate there's some deviation. A lot of them won't. It's just the nature of the beast. You can have two identical compasses and they'll read a degree or two different sometimes. So using the tactic of aiming off on a 10 degree offset for most tactical operations, will eliminate all issues with lateral drift or compass deviation. So that's just something for you guys to be aware of. If it's off two or three degrees, it's pretty normal. And these compasses are fairly new for the most part. They're, they're definitely not abused. And uh, there's, a, there's a discrepancy in there. So just take that for what it's worth. Uh, when you're plotting courses, shooting azimuths in the field, doing resection, intersection, things like that, probably gonna be some deviation in there. So take it for what it's worth. But I'm just pointing this out to you guys that when you buy one, expect that. So my choice would be, personally, I'm gonna run that US Military Kaminga. For most search and rescue people, orienteering and things like that, it's gonna be the Sunto MC2. That's it guys, I'm done for the day. God bless y'all, stay safe.